One of the days, Marion was not able to be with us. Uh, he had a commitment and he was able to introduce us to Justinia, who is another local guide um, who came with us for the day. And uh, we are in Krutin now. Uh, I, uh, I suggest to go to Iran. Iran is not a big city, but very nice, with a um, nice castle from medieval times and very um, original restaurant with beautiful uh, on the lake. I hope that you have a wonderful time because the weather is really, really very nice for, for today. Justinia took us to Francesco's house. He did entertainment for the Castle Rin. Like I was thinking a knight's tale. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. When we got there, um, I met Francesco, and when he came out, he had his helmet with his peacock feathers, <laughs> took my hand, and I was like, I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna do this, and we went inside, and he started to show us around um, the house. This one? Francesco is a uh, um, medieval knight. Uh, he show, show us uh, how they usually make a show here in Kajnice, and uh, see how uh, you can, yeah, how fight in medieval times. Unfortunately, he just put on three shows prior to us coming. So he was too tired to do one more show uh, for that day. So, um, but he was very sweet and kind. His family was as well, just welcoming us and uh, telling us about what he does. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we went to the Castle Wren which I was really looking forward to on this trip. This is a castle that is in the middle of town that was then later converted into a hotel. So you can actually stay there. Before coming to Poland, I looked up information about this hotel and I found out that they had a pool in their dungeon. Never heard about that before. I thought that was the coolest thing. I was like, I want to be there. It was just beautiful. It was very unique. This is amazing. I've never been in a dungeon pool before. We decided to go to a restaurant that was on the lake and uh, Justinia knew the chef there and there's just so many plates and they're beautiful. There's uh, vegetables, there was potatoes, there was uh, these fish, lots of fish, and then these little fish, silver sides, that were fried and pork um, dishes. And I remember looking at it and being like, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to eat all of it, but I'm gonna try and take a little bit of as much as I possibly can. And just to experience the, the Polish food here. And it was absolutely delicious. She, she completely outdid herself. That is so good. Good to hear you. <laughs> hear it. Yeah. We paddled from Kruteń down the Kruteń River to Wojnowo uh, just to see a beautiful monastery, small beautiful monastery that belonged to the so-called old believers that settled down in our region in 1840s. They built a monastery. They also built two other churches that we saw uh, walking in the village. We were able to go um, paddle onto the lake and right along the lakeside, you can get up with your kayaks and go explore the monastery. He took us through the old believers cemetery and it was a nice little piece of history that we're able to step into and admire. There was a man there who said how he was born on those grounds and he knew those two nuns because we were standing by their gravesite. And he said that they were really good at fishing and they outfished him many a times. <laughs> so they outfished him. Yes. <laughs> Old tradition, just old tradition, they were fishing. <laughs> Great. They had the pictures of the nuns who used to live there, 
and they also had um, the, the sanctuary there. It took me back to my childhood of going to church with my Polish grandmother. It was something that was neat to go and experience just a little piece of history there. That's beautiful. went to the deer farm in Kosovo Gurne, uh, not far from Mikowaiki, just to see something amazing. But from time to time, they invite tourists, they let tourists come in, and then you walk among wild animals. We are on the research station, and this place is very unique. This is the first deer farm in Poland. Uh, the oldest one uh, we are making here at the scientific research about uh, how to feed them, um, how to uh, cure these animals, what parasites they have, and we are also making a research about uh, behavior of these animals, and these are very interesting parts of our job. Hi, baby. So this is... This is Gabby. Gabby. She's a uh, red deer heat. Hi. It's okay to touch She's, her? Yeah, you can touch her. Hi. She's darker than the others. And she has very beautiful eyes too. Yeah. And she's a very um, emotional girl. Do you want to stay here? <laughs> I think she's coming back with us, so... Yes. <laughs> So we're nearing the end of our trip and right now we're outside of Mikowaiki and we're headed to a fish restaurant. So it's a restaurant that we get to paddle to and get some lunch. And it looks like Marion's pretty hungry because he, he's way down there right now. So I was talking to my parents last night and I, they've been watching along, just sending them pictures and videos and they really want to come back. Um, they're asking who do I get in contact with and uh, all the locations that I stayed so that they would be able to come and have the same experience. Pretty excited, I'm pretty hungry, ready to try the food here. This is beautiful in the middle of uh, the lake here. So I think Marion's up there probably talking to some of the people there and we'll be up there shortly. So today, a uh, nice meal in a fish restaurant on water, and then tomorrow in the hotel, some relax. Just a surprise for you to relax, to relax after that hard experience today. <laughs> All right. So, so much nego. Wonderful. <laughs> it was really good. It was probably the best fish and chips I've ever had. Marion and I enjoyed a wonderful lunch there, and after our long paddling trip, we were able to get back and uh, Marion had a surprise for me, which was very kind. Uh, my first ever massage. <laughs> so it was a perfect way to end the trip. Massage, I had a hot stone massage, body massage. Great experience, never had one before, but it was perfect for uh, you know the muscles after, after paddling. This was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. I'm really thankful that uh, I was able to come here and to do this and people were absolutely amazing. Um, the food was delicious. It was great for me. I get to reminisce on my childhood, but also try some new uh, dishes. I'm really thankful that I was able